All right, so in this example, we're going to be looking at a collision in 2D with billiard balls. And we're going to start off by assuming that the masses of the billiard balls are equal. Here are the initial conditions. The cue ball is coming in with an unknown velocity. It's a billiard ball. After the collision, the billiard ball goes up at an angle of 39.94 degrees, has a final velocity of 2.47 meters per second. We know that the cue ball goes down with an unknown angle and has a velocity of 2.07. So the question is, what is the initial velocity of the cue ball? So we're going to look at components of the ball 2 or the billiard ball. We know that it's going at an angle of 39.4 degrees. So to find the x component, it's 2.47 meters per second times the cos of the angle, giving us a velocity of 1.894 meters per second. The y component of the billiard ball, or ball 2, is 2.47 meters per second times the sine of 39.4, which gives us 1.586. Okay, now if we try to find the components for ball 1, we don't actually have an angle, so we have 2.07 meters per second times the cos of an angle, 2.07 meters per second times the sine of an angle, but we don't have enough information to solve those, so let's just leave them. We do know that momentum has to be conserved, which means m1 v1 equals m2 v2. This is before the interaction. After the interaction, it's m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2 prime. And we can actually put it into components. So this is the x components before the interaction, the x components after. Same thing with the y. Now, since the masses are identical, we can actually just cancel them all out. And now we're simply left with v1x plus v2x equals v1x prime plus v2x prime. Ball 2 was actually not initially moving, so we can call that a zero. For the y components, there's actually none since nothing is moving in the y direction. So these are both a zero. So now we're simply left with a zero on the left-hand side, and the right-hand side is v1 prime plus v2 prime. So on the left-hand side, we have v1x is equal to v1x prime plus v2x prime. For the y's, we have a 0 is equal to v1y prime plus v2y prime. So we actually only know v2x prime, which is right here. We don't know v1x prime, so we have two unknowns for this equation. We can't go any further. Let's just call it number 1. Let's take a look at the y components. So if 0 is equal to v1 prime plus v2 prime, and if I subtract a v1 prime from both sides, I can get an equation that looks like this. And we actually have v2y prime, because we've solved for that earlier, which is 1.586. Okay, so this is just our right angle triangle. Hypotenuse is 2.07 meters per second. We just solved for v1y prime, which is 1.586. Let's use Pythagorean theorem. V1 prime is the square root of 2.07 squared minus 1.586 squared, which gives us 1.330 meters per second. I want to substitute that back into equation 1. Equation 1 was V1 equal to V1 prime plus 1.894. We just solved for V1 prime, which was 1.330 meters per second plus 1.894 meters per second. And that gives us, rounded to 3 sig digs, 3.22 meters per second. And that was the initial speed of the cue ball before impact.